Hey guys, JT here with a quick, um, after, not first run thought, but uh, like seven or eight, <laughs> uh, run thought of my um, arm of Thailand. Um, you guys know I got this thing and I've been driving the heck out of it. You can even tell um, by my tires. I'm going to have to get some tires really soon. So I've been really driving this truck. I mean, I've been driving it everywhere and I've even jumped it as well. I have some more jumping videos and bashing videos up of this thing. I'm trying to find an outdoor track. Um, that I can run this thing on 4S and 6S and get some other truggy guys out there to run as well. But I'm impressed with this thing, guys. I have I like the version 1, um, and I like this one as well. I mean, they there's slight differences between this one and the version 1, but they both run well. Arma actually improved on a couple of things from the version 1. Um, with this one, that helps it perform a little bit better as well. And this thing is fast. I still have yet to run the speed gear in it, which I probably won't. Um, I may do it for a speed test, but you guys know stock out the box with the included 14-2 pinion gear on 6S. And that was some 35Cs of 5,000 milliamp 6S LiPos. I got 49.5 miles per hour. So with their 50C batteries, I probably get about maybe 51, 52, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Uh, I may test that in C as well. So, um, and I, I got some 40 C's in there too. Um, but this thing, like I said, it's performed well. Um, some people have asked me before. Um, they're thinking about getting armor cars. Do they? I recommend this or what? It's going to depend on your preference because you can't buy this and then say, "Oh, um, it's going to perform the way as a Sentin does," because it doesn't. Those cars are two totally different. Um, designs even though they're based on the same platform so if you guys got this and you wanted a little bit more speed on it you could go to a 16 or something like that which would probably be a perfect balance I only put this heat sink on there because it was on another truck and I didn't want to lose so I put that on there so I didn't have any temperature problems or anything like that that's not why this is on here so it was fine when I ran I'll probably have to start getting some temps as well when I take this car out and run it again just so you guys know what kind of temperature I'm de temperatures I'm dealing with um, haven't had any breakages or anything on the car sorry because it is a little dusty I have been running it um, everywhere so I haven't had anything break on it or anything fail on it either so that's always a plus when you get a car and you don't have to make adjustments to it or something breaks within the first few runs and just kind of gets you frustrated but since it's your car you end up buying more parts and stuff you don't have to with these eight scale cars. I mean, they're they're set up right, right out the box. I mean, if you run 6S, it's fine. If you run 4S, it's fine. 5S is fine. You don't have to worry about it if you run 6S, shimming the diffs and stuff. I've heard of people doing that before, and I just couldn't understand why, because I've never had to shim any diffs on my eight scale armor cars at all. Um, so I don't I don't know what's 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 up with that. Maybe they got a second, third, fourth hand one and they completely ripped it apart because you guys know I bashed my Outcast like it was just stolen. And I didn't have to uh, shim the diffs or anything. I never did. So anyway, that's just uh, my first or actually seventh or eighth run thoughts on this truck. You're going to see a lot more videos of this car um, out here or this truck, this, this truggy out here running. And I plan on doing um, some runs with some other guys. They got some buggies and stuff this weekend. So hopefully I can get this out and get some running against them out there as well. I'm going to run on 6S. I'm not running on 4S. Um, I might run on 4S, but then I'll have to gear up. But I ain't going to let them beat me, y'all. They calling me out. They keep calling me out. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get this thing cleaned up. I know you guys are wanting to see um, some cleanup videos. So I may do a video of how I'm just going to clean this up. It's just got a lot of dust and stuff on it for me running it um, in various um, environments. But I have to make sure I'm not going to run it tomorrow either because um, I hate to get it all shiny and new and get it all dusty again and clean it again. But then maybe I'll do some more cleaning videos. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Put your comments below. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. And thanks for watching.